Welcome to Spotlight. I'm Adam Navis. And I'm Anne Muir. Spotlight uses a special English method of broadcasting. It is easier for people to understand, no matter where in the world they live. We use it to cook. We use it to heat our homes. Using it, we can see in the dark. And for thousands of years, people have sat around it, telling stories. What is this thing? It is fire. Fire is very helpful. But it is also extremely dangerous. Today's spotlight is on using fire in a safe way. Fire can cause a lot of damage. It can reduce a home to nothing but ashes. Even when a fire does not. Burn a whole house. The damage from smoke can ruin clothing, food, books, and pictures. When people use water to fight a fire, the water can damage floors, walls, paper, blankets, and beds. But fire causes more than just damage. To things, even worse, fire can kill people. Still, many people need to use fire in their daily activities. But there are ways to use fire safely. Here are a few ways people use fire. And how to use it safely. The most important thing to do when you use fire is to use your head and think about what is happening around you. This is very simple, but very important. When we are around something often, we can become careless. If you have a fire in your house for cooking or heating, look around for possible dangers. Is there anything near that could catch on fire? Are children playing too near the heat? Knowing what is happening around you is an easy way to stay safe. Smoking cigarettes can also be a fire danger. Many fires begin when cigarettes fall onto furniture or beds. Cigarettes are small, but they burn at a temperature of 700 degrees Celsius. This is more than hot enough to burn paper, cloth. Or skin. When you are done smoking, always make sure the cigarette is no longer burning. In the same way, be careful if you use candles. The small fire from candles is good for seeing in the dark, especially. Without electricity, they can also create a romantic atmosphere for love. But do not let your romance cause you to forget about them. If a candle falls, it can burn for a long time. This gives it plenty of time to light other things on fire. Cigarettes and candles are small fires 
that can grow out of control. But it is even easier to lose control of a large fire. Many people deal with unwanted leaves, branches or waste by burning them. These things burn very easily and quickly. A fire like this can get out of control in seconds. If you are going to burn waste or leaves, follow these rules. Make sure you are away from buildings and people. Do not burn things on a windy day. The wind can blow the fire out of your control. Have dirt, sand, and water around to put out the fire if it gets too big. Do not burn everything at once. Instead, add things to the fire slowly. But most importantly, make sure someone is watching at all times. Any of these common acts can cause a dangerous fire. But being prepared can save lives and limit damage. One way to prepare for a fire is to create an escape plan for each member of your family. If there is a fire in your home, you can follow the plan. Decide on a path for each person that leads them out of the home. Then choose a place where everyone will meet together. Make sure it is far enough away to be safe. But it should be close enough to get to quickly. Try your plan by acting it out. Then you can be sure that everyone knows what to do. There are also some things that can make your home safer. See if these things are available in your area. Smoke detectors are small electronic devices. A smoke detector makes noise if it senses smoke. Because smoke rises, these are placed high up in most rooms. Putting these in your home will signal to you the first sign of a fire. If a fire starts when you are sleeping, the noise of the smoke detector will wake you from sleep. Fire extinguishers are another good tool for fighting fire. They all look similar. They are cans with a handle and a tube. People use them to put out fires, but not all fire extinguishers put out the same kind of fire. Here are the three main kinds of fire extinguishers. Class A fire extinguishers are for fires from wood, cardboard and plastics. They use water to put out fires. These are the most common fire extinguishers. Class B fire extinguishers are used for liquid sources like gasoline, grease and oil. They use a white substance to put out fires. If you use a Class A extinguisher on a Class B fire, you will spread the fire and make it worse. 
Class C fire extinguishers are for fires from electricity. If you use a Class A fire extinguisher on a Class C fire, you risk giving yourself or someone near you an electric shock. If you are caught in a fire, you should try to cover your mouth with a wet cloth. Breathing in smoke can harm your mind. It can cause you to stop thinking clearly. Also, stay low to the ground. Heat and smoke rise up. Near the ground, it is cooler and there is less smoke. If you do catch on fire, you need to remember three steps. First, stop. Do not try to run away. Second, you need to drop. Fall onto the ground. And third, roll. Roll around on the ground. This movement cuts off air from the fire and will make it go out. So remember, stop, drop and roll. Fire is very useful. No other creature on earth has learned to use fire the way humans have. However, fire can be like a wild animal. It can get out of control and do damage to people and property. But following rules for fire safety can make it more likely that you and your home stay safe. Have you ever experienced a fire that got out of control? Tell us about it. You can leave a comment on our website or email us at radio at radioenglish.net You can also comment on Facebook at facebook.com slash spotlight radio The writer of this program was Adam Navis. The producer was Michio Ozaki. The voices you heard were from the United States and the United Kingdom. You can listen to this program again and read it on the internet at www.radioenglish.net. This program is called Fire Safety. Look for our free listening app in the Google Play Store or in iTunes. We hope you can join us again for the next Spotlight program. Goodbye.